Hello, and welcome back to the next episode in our Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord campaign, playing as the Vlandian Knight, Sir Arthur Pendragon. So last time we accomplished quite a lot uh, in a reasonably short space of time. We conquered Dunglanis, and we also conquered Carbanseth, although of course it's, uh, it's since revolted, so we'll have to go over there and crush that rebellion. Um, and yeah, I mean, we just sort of consolidated our power, we've built up some relations uh, with the clans in the Vlandian Kingdom, and of course, most notably, we have uh, executed High King Kaladog, uh, and now Batania, or what's left, left of it anyway, is ruled by Luikan, who is, I believe, his um, Kaladog's son? Must be. Oh, no, it's not. Must be his brother or something. It doesn't... It's sort of hard to tell sometimes. Um, family relations. Are they even in the same clan? Fen Gryffindok. Oh, maybe they're not. Oh, Fen Penrake. Okay, so completely different clan. So, no relation to Kaladog, but just another um, noble in Batania who seems to have taken over. And he is, of course, enemies with us. In fact, we've got quite a few friends. Um, most of them Vlandian, but surprisingly we also have some friends in the Western Empire, most notably Garios, the, the Emperor Claimant, uh, and also Adrum in the Asurai uh, territory. Um, which surprises me, but I guess that's from our time as a mercenary. Um, oh, Apis and Krotor died. Interesting. should have a look and see who who else has died actually but um, yeah anyway we've got quite a lot of enemies and I think part of that is because we executed um, Kaladog and two other Batanian uh, nobles but I don't know why it's made Monchug and Mesui and Huronag and a whole bunch of other people enemies with us um, I'm not sure why relations with them went down from us executing Kaladog. But maybe it's because they were friends with Kaladog? Or someone that we executed? Did we execute Siriamis? Yeah, we did. Okay. Take it. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't... He was executed... Yeah, okay. It doesn't say that we executed him. It just says the last thing that happened is we took him prisoner. And then he was mysteriously executed. So, plausible deniability. But it looks like when you execute someone, and you know, of course this makes sense, anyone who's friends with them will not like you <laughs> for doing that. So that would have been why non batanian uh, nobles got a bit miffed at us for executing some Batanian nobles. But anyway, you know, you've got to do what you have to do. Um, also, we have since uh, married, Liana uh, finally managed to get that one over the line. Of course, she... Um, didn't think that her father would approve, and so she wouldn't uh, just marry us on her own volition, but we managed to convince her father uh, to let her marry us, and in fact, we managed to also get some payment for the whole thing, so that was a pretty good win uh, for us. So, Leanna is now our wife, and as of yet, she's not in our party. I think she's still... Where is she? Yeah, she's still regrouping, so... But eventually we can um, probably either recruit her into our party, or more likely have her lead her own party. Because she's quite a good... Um, she's quite a good leader. She's got good leadership skill. Uh, decent stewardship, so her party size will be quite large. And also good tactics, so she hopefully won't get demolished in combat too often. Um, Mila would also be a good... A good potential party leader uh, as well because she also has good stewardship and you know average tactics um, her leadership leaves a little bit to be desired but yeah and Varric I don't know what we'll do with Varric I mean obviously Alda will keep as a as our um, medicine person Varric I'm, I'm not uh, yeah I'm not sure what we should do with him and um, yeah, Nagand obviously is our quartermaster, and he will leave until he until he dies. 
which is hopefully in a, in a long time. Yeah, anyway. All right. So, goals for this episode. We'll take back Carbanseth. Um, I just want to check. We've got enough food. Plenty. Excellent. Yeah, we'll take back Carbanseth, uh, and maybe it'll even get awarded to us. And what I really want to do is keep building up our relations within the Vlandian Kingdom and keep getting more fiefs awarded to us. We really need to find a way to just crunch down the influence that the other clans have, but that'll um, have to come in time, I think. We'll have to wait for them to make large armies, I guess, and then force them to disband the armies. And Maybe we can get a few policies passed which will um, reduce the influence of clans below certain tiers. Because we are tier 4, but we're pretty close to tier 5, I think. Yeah. We need another 200 renown, so it's not too long to go. But yeah, so we have... How many fiefs do we have? We've got Abcoma and we've got Dunglanus. Which is quite prosperous, actually. Third most prosperous city in, um, in the Vlandian Kingdom, so not too bad. Yeah, we need to keep building relations with some of these clans. Who's the most influential? Well, actually, influence is secondary, probably the largest. So we've got good relations with um, Dimarok. The Aramanc we could use with better relations. Or we could do with better relations. De Quartain we've got. De Rothard is decent, but we could always up it. De Fortes, we need more. I'm not going to worry about Karenios, they're imperial traders. I'm more concerned about the Vlandian clans. So, De, de Milan, De Fortes, and De Rothard, and De Aramanc, we could do with more. And we're quite good with De Tier, and fairly average with the rest. I just want to get them as high as I can. I think, a uh, you know, above 70 at least for all of them. I think that'll make it more likely that they vote for us. Um, so, yeah, anyway. Okay, let's... Let's carry on. We'll have to make, I think, an army. And that's going to be difficult, actually. Because there's a lot of armies that have been made down there. So why don't we... Where's that screen? No, we don't have enough influence to make an army if we disband those armies. Maybe we can... 334 defenders. Maybe we can just siege it down on the campaign map with just us. And we can... Uh, like, I don't think anyone will... Um, I mean, they're rebels, so we shouldn't get attacked by a big defending army or anything. So we can just besiege the town and grind through their food. Uh, and we should be okay. I'll just build all the siege equipment. And what we'll do is, I guess, we'll make trebuchets and catapults. And we'll just... Uh, Grind down. Oh, it looks like Aldric and the rest have joined us, so we, we can actually just siege it, but... Yeah, I'm happy to just get some engineering experience for, um... Who is our engineer? I can never remember. For Himmel. Himmel the Knowing. Although I don't seem to get too much engineering experience for building siege equipment. I guess you get more for doing the, uh... Actually, doing the siege. Just put it in reserve. What we can do, we can build the ballista there. It's an election for Garantor Castle, which we'll uh, we'll do, and I guess we'll give it to Ospir. 
Nine relation with him. We lose one relation with Defulcorn. And one with Derothard. May not have been the most worthwhile use of our uh, influence. I think you're better off spending 100 influence and getting quite a big boost than spending 30 or 20 or whatever it was and getting a very minor boost. Alright, let's... Uh should start firing. We've got one day of food left. And then the uh, garrison party should just start perishing. And they've got no food left now. Another... something got taken. Oh, it might have been taken from us. Oh no, I misread. It's just a ballista message again. I kind of want to crack the walls again and then set some ballistas up and um, try to get some big kills. This is such a waste of time, like, I could have done this on my own, already down to uh, 93, so I think they're all dying from starvation now. Alright, so the walls are all taken out, so let's rearrange the... Uh, what we'll do, we'll put one ballista there, we'll move you there, because I don't think we... I don't think we need, uh, actually maybe we'll put... Maybe like that. Because I don't, I don't know where on the map the cracks in the wall will appear, but we want the ballista to be able to shoot the crack really easily. Anyway, let's uh, lead an assault now. Himmel's up to 110 engineering, uh, which doesn't look like that's given him a perk or anything. Raffard has a skill point, which we can assign, and someone else does too. Oh, Varric has a perk. I didn't realize that. Uh, we'll give him cavalry. All right, let's lead the assault. Let's have a look. Alright, so there's a hole in the wall here. And another one there. So, I don't even know. Can we move our... Okay, so that has is in prime position. Do I get to command everyone? I'd kind of like them all to just hang back and not do anything. And then I can use the ballista and get lots of kills and engineering experience. At least that's the idea. Uh, interestingly, it put both catapults on that side, but that's actually not totally terrible because that ballista might be more useful to shoot in that gap there. Let's just see. Um, okay, so that puts... yeah, see, I don't get to control everyone because they're not all in my army, so I'll just put them on delegated command. Um, and let's uh, see if we can actually do anything useful with the ballista. Uh, oh, a little too low.
is a bit too high, I think. There's not actually a lot of uh, troops in the gaps where the walls have cracked open. I think we'll probably just be better off um, riding up there and just participating in the melee. Yeah, let's just do that. I can't really see from this distance anyway. We won't need that. Ah, see, they are there, but they hadn't come out. piling through. <laughs> I can't even get through there. Mm, okay, alright. No point charging the archers, I guess. Just let them skirmish. There we go. So my ballista strategy didn't really pay off, but starving them out and sieging them down did. Not that it, again, you know, really matters that much. Let's just use the two-hander. No, right, I think these guys will get away. Athletic skill isn't good enough to catch them in the heavy armor that we're wearing. Which is fine, you know, that's not a problem. Thing is, we won't have enough influence to demand that Carbanseth go to us. Victory! And also likely not enough friends in the... Uh... We'll just send our troops for this, I think. Let's just finish off the last few ones. There we go. Get some influence. And we've got some relation. Even though we were the ones who sieged it and they helped us. Interesting. Oh, were these prisoners that were released? Uh, there must be. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, do we want to recruit any of these troops? Maybe the Vanguard and the Champion. The Hardened Crossbowman. The Sharpshooter. That'll do. As for the prisoners, I guess we'll just take all the prisoners because we can ransom them back immediately. Uh, and that's everything. Take all the loot. And we will. Hmm. <clears throat> We'll pillage. I don't want to lose party morale. Oh, not smithy, sorry. Enter the trade menu. Uh, I'll just hang on to all that. I'll sell all of that. And all of that. Okay, that'll do. Alright, I guess I guess we'll see who gets granted 
Carbanseth. It might just go back to the person who had it before. I can't remember which um, clan that is. Is there a, a tournament there? Must be a bug, because there isn't. There's one in Dunglanis, though. But again, do we want to... <laughs> do we want to do that? Full Helm over Laced Quaff. I don't think we really need to worry about it, to be honest. We're making 2k a day. Um, do we have all the workshops we can have? I think we do, yeah. And they're doing alright. Actually, one thing I could do, though, is start smelting. Uh, where is Raffard? Actually, I need to check Raffard's skill. He doesn't have official charcoal maker. Did I switch him over? I think I may have. I can't remember. Um, that's alright. We'll pick the next highest person. Maybe our brother. We'll get him to find some charcoal. Smelt some stuff down. And then we'll get Elder to do the same. Okay, and Varric. Maybe I should have been smelting those ones down first. The ones that have more wood. We'll just have to buy some wood, I think. There we go. Varric. Ah! I'm trying to be too quick, clicking the wrong buttons. There we go. Alright. Arway, you're up. Give me the charcoal. Starts melting. Talamond. Let's go. <laughs> We're going to need more wood. Okay. I guess we'll go Kundal. He got skilled pretty quickly. Oh boy. Isn't this a great mechanic? It's so much fun. Alright, and now we just now we just wait. And then we do it all again. Alright, let's see. So we could actually try and argue for it, but we won't have any support. Uh, we may as well vote in favor of Berrican, just to get a big relationship boost with him. So that maxes relations with that clan. Didn't realize our own smithing skill was so terrible as well. You know what? It's just I don't use Bone Crusher. Let's just smelt it down. It's annoying having it there at the top, preventing us from smelting.
Alright, we need more wood. We need more wood. Marinath should have a bunch of wood. Sionon might as well. I know Marinath should. And in fact, we need to go there anyway to speak to this quest person. Um, to speak to Arzagos. There we go. Bunch of wood. Uh, we'll take a walk around the town. I'm sure we're well loved in Batania and no one will try to kill us horribly. But don't worry, we've got our throwing knives. Yeah. So we need to find Arzagos in his house. It should be somewhere. It Heavens protect us from the Lady Kidra. Can't be trusted. Okay. I'm looking for someone. Okay, I'm not looking for Sane the Carpenter. I'm looking for Arzagos. He's probably in the tavern, but he could be in the keep as well. Hmm. I'll we'll just try the tavern, I suppose. Is that him? No, that's Raphard Gudra Kundal. Game host. No, he can't tell us. It's quite a cool uh, city, this, this Marinath, actually. Like the layout. I quite like it. Sloped up the mountain and not bad. I think it'd be a fun one to siege. <laughs> That's that that is a, a veiled threat to the Batanians. Ah, oh, there it is. It wasn't showing up before when I was um holding down alt. But anyway. Hopefully we can get there through here. Surprise. This is it. A very small doorway into Arzagos' house. Where is he? Probably, let's not threaten him with our sword. Here he is. Arzagos. Aye, sorry, I don't think I know you. Uh, my name is Arthur, sir. May I ask your name? You probably are aware that I am Arzagos. I am not sure why you have sought me out, but know that my old life as an Imperial Lapdog is over. So, who are you, and what brings you to me? I believe I have a piece of the Dragon Banner of Calradios. Is that true? Well, that is interesting. You may have one piece of the banner, but it's of little use in itself. You'll have to find the other parts. But once you can bring together the pieces, you'll have something of tremendous value. How so? Mm. Well, the banner of Calradius is part of legend, or a legend. It was said to be carried by Calradius the Great, who first led his people to this land to conquer and despoil. The legend says that no army led by a true son of Calradius shall be defeated in battle. Convenient legend, eh? Of course, the Calradians have been defeated many times, but I guess those were not true sons. Still, you could say it represents the strength and endurance of this empire. So can you help me find a buyer for it? A buyer? 
I can help you do far more than that. Uh, okay, so where can I find the other pieces? This writing is a bit all over the shop, to be honest. Before I answer, you and I need to know more about each other. I don't know what you know about me. I was a citizen of the Empire. I was a commander in the Imperial Armies, but I am not Imperial. I am what they call Palaic. Palaic is a language that is no longer spoken, except by a few old people. Even the word Palaic is Imperial. We s hang on, you described yourself... What? This doesn't make any sense. You're saying your culture and ethnicity is Palaic, and that's also your language, Palaic. Or is it Palaic? Probably Palaic, and not Palaic. But, alright, Palaic is your culture, slash ethnicity, and your language. And it's a language that is no longer spoken except by a few old people. Does he know the language? Surely he knows that the, 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 like, even if he doesn't know the language of Palaic, surely he knows the Palaic name for itself. How is it that the word Palaic is an imperial word and not a Palaic word, if you're f are following what I'm saying? Anyway, we are a people who have forgotten who we are. I mean, I guess that's sort of, this sentence is the only sentence that makes sense out of all of this. But, like, surely, like, there's lots of dead languages, but people still know the, n the name of the dead language. I guess maybe they're trying to mimic Latin, right? Is Latin the, the, the ancient Rome? Like, is that what the ancient Romans called their own language? Latin? Maybe not. Maybe that's an Anglic anglicization of the word. I don't know. Actually, I don't know my Latin history or language, but anyway, this just seems a bit strange, the way they've written all this, but yeah, anyway, alright, the Empire has a genius for destruction, the destruction of languages, traditions, gods, it takes our fortresses, slaughters our men, and turns our children into its own children, yeah, I guess Pax Romana, assimilation, I suppose, nothing can bring the Palaic people back, they are now Imperial, but it, it is an insult to our name. You don't even know your name. Your, your name is what the Imperials... You're using the Imperial name. Like, you're obviously not that connected to that culture. Anyway. But it's an insult to our name, to our gods, to our memory, that the state which destroyed our shrines and fortress should, fortresses should last and thrive. I mean, only if you've been mistreated under the Empire... And if it's, if, like, if, if your life is worse off under the Empire than it was not under the Empire. On whatever metric is important, right? Whether that's, um, health, health and healthcare, uh, you know, um, wealth, uh, status in society, voting rights, slash suffrage, um, you know, f freedom, political and civil liberties, whatever metric is valued as a good by this person like you should only hate the empire if the net your net position in those important things that you value is lower than it otherwise would have been were you you know still self-ruling under whatever previous power structure existed and it very well it very may well be lower um but yeah anyway all right I have vowed that this empire shall not survive this civil war if I can do anything to stop it. And believe me, if I had that banner, there is very much something I could do. Um, well, I'm, I'm not sure I... Well, I don't share your views. I think your reasoning is specious, but I too would see the empire destroyed. So I agree with you in that regard, I suppose. Good, then I will tell you what I know. I heard about one other piece. I do not know where the other pieces are. You may need to keep searching for them. When you have recovered all pieces, return to me, and I'll help you put them to use. Okay. Find another... But you said you knew where another piece was. Not yet, I'm working on it. Okay, alright. So, where's the other piece? Fi oh, okay, he, okay, so he did... He told us without telling us. He just... He just put the, the knowledge into our, into our brains. Okay, let's... Let's leave. We'll go find that hideout that he's talking about. Uh, I don't think it's, it's this side out, must be. Is there a quest we can do? No. 
Oh, sh I forgot to ransom all those prisoners. Let's ransom them in, in Batania. Actually, what is our roguery skill? 81. Okay, not bad. So the hideout. I don't know why this Griff party is still around. Given that Carbanseth has been taken, I would have thought the rebels would disperse. You spy <laughs> through the trees what seems to be a clearing in the forest with what appears to be the outlines of a camp. You see armed men moving about. As you listen quietly, you hear scraps of conversation about raids, ransoms, and the best places to waylay travelers. All right, let's wait until nightfall to attack. Hey, Lienna won the tournament at Pen Canoc. Very good. After waiting for a while, you find a good opportunity to close in undetected beneath the shroud of the night. Um, I think we'll just take some sharpshooters, some knights. That's probably sufficient. I could always take the companions, I suppose, but I don't think it's worthwhile risking them. Drop our lance. Where are these? Oh, there's one here. Die! Okay, this one bandit down. I hadn't put them on fire at will. It's obviously a problem. See if we can sneak up on this guy with a two-hander. He hasn't seen us coming. There he goes. He probably should have stuck with trying to shoot us with an arrow. But anyway, let's just put him on delegate command. We'll just let them do what they have to do. In fact, we'll just charge. Charge them in. This guy hasn't noticed yet that he's being shot at by cross- No, he's finally noticed. It's like... There's only one guy left here at the camp. Is that everyone? Yep, okay. And it's the big bandit boss. You, you've cut quite a sway through my men there. Alright, let's duel. Alright. 100% of the loot, we get some prisoners. And we should get this banner piece. There we go, on the 10th day of autumn. 1094 you found a second piece of the dragon banner of Calradius. That looks kind of cool. That's a that's a cool design actually. I like that. It's very Chinese. Um, I mean, you know, it, it, it just seems Chinese. Maybe it's the red and the, the gold and the dragon um, motif, but yeah. Quite cool looking and I like the design and how it captures the wind. Um... Anyway, uh, okay. Let's carry on. Do we want to... Hmm, what do we want to do as our next objective? I guess we could go to Varon Castle. Let's see if we can... Uh, no, that's... Oh, actually. Let's get Lienna. How do we create party? Yeah, we'll put Lienna in charge. And we'll have to limit her budget. We'll put her on defensive stance, so she doesn't just go and suicide. We'll put, we'll give her a budget of like a thousand, because um, we're making enough. Two point three from Dunglanis, one point three from workshops. 
spending about a thousand on our garrisons. Well, that's okay. All right, we need to go find some parties to take out. Or do we want to create? Maybe we can create two parties, actually. I think maybe we'll get Mila to um, also create a party. And I don't know, maybe Varric as well. I don't know what I want to do with Varric, but certainly Mila, she's quite good. Uh, I won't give her any troops. Actually, let's cancel that. I just want to inspect her first. Yeah, she's fine. She's got decent e enough equipment. The arrows are a little rubbish, actually, but she'll be fine. So let's do that. Let's give it to Mila. We won't give her any troops. Again, we'll limit her budget to a thousand-ish. Put her on defensive priority. And hope they don't just get killed and destroyed. Um, and do I want to do the same with Varric? I mean, that's a good question. It's a good question. Um, let's have a look at him. Where is he? Varric. So what is he good at? Riding, polearm, two-handed. He's very vigorous. He's one of the most vigorous people in Calradia. Like, Varric and Vigor go hand in hand. Um, but as for his leadership skill, his tactics, stewardship, all leave quite a bit to be desired. I think we might want to have him stick with us for some more level ups so that we can allocate the focus points to steward leadership tactics. Having said that, I think we can still, even if he's not in our party and levels up, we still get to allocate all of those. So we may as well actually make him a party leader. He's not really contributing much in our party. He's got good armor, so he, he shouldn't die, hopefully. <laughs> um, we could give him a, a better horse. In fact, that's something I should... Perhaps I should have done for Lienna and... Me I think Mila had an Asala gut from memory, so I think she's okay. But let's... Uh, yeah, we've got the hot blood, that's fine. You don't need anything. I've got the Valenby Corsa. Which has good charge damage, but quite low speed. But then again, the AI don't really know how to use speed effectively anyway, so... I don't know if that matters. He's also got a Valenby Corsa. Our hot blood, Midlands Palfrey, yeah, maybe. Okay, well, a Cantirian Charger is an upgrade for him. So is a Glintor Pony. We'll give him the Cantirian Charger. He can't actually use anything higher than that anyway. Um, so that's fine. And then Alder. Alright, cool. Okay, alright, let's make him a party leader now. Where is he? Varric. And we won't give him any troops. He can lead 85. That's, you know, that's not, that's not too bad. We'll limit his wage. We'll, we'll put him at like 600 maybe. Again, we'll put him on defensive. Hopefully they don't go in suicide. Let's um, defend them a bit until they wake up and start recruiting. Alright. Kill Polon because he's trying to... <laughs> He was going for them. Alright. Yes, I did take Carbanseth. But you know we're at war. Archers! Let's put them on loose formation. Get our infantry 
Spread out. Put our cav over here. That'll do. Take over command. Just gonna put them all on uh, Move. delegated command there, just to get them moving up quickly. Wait, uh, yeah. Cavalry forward. Archers forward. Troops move. I was hoping I would get two, two cavalry kills there with the skewer, but it was not meant to be. Oh, I want to kill that banner. Satisfying. All right. Let's put those guys on charge. You know what, let's just put the cab on charge too. Their archers are running forward. Which is very very bizarre tactic. Oh the banner bearer. Oh, I missed. Come here. Come here, you banner bearer. Yes, got him. AI was made it had a very weird strategic maneuver there with the um, putting the archers that far forward. I don't know what that was. Our cavalry are cleaning up. I forgot as well last episode to check the difficulty. So let me just can I do that now? No. Have to check after the battle ends, I think. I guess we do have a lot of high tier troops now though, and very very good morale. Alright, so that's a victory. One casualty. And Polon actually died, um, so no, no prisoner for him, but that's okay. Now we'll get the Billman. Do we have a lot of sergeants? We do. Not a lot of pikemen. Not a lot of... Yeah, not a lot of pikemen, so we'll just make them all billmen. Um, go pikemen. Alright. We get the phalanx standard. Decrease ranged taken ranged attack damage. Okay. I would have thought the Phalanx would have had a different bonus than that. Testudo one, a Testudo banner maybe should have a range damage reduction. Again, gets a riding skill. We'll give him Mounted Warrior. And who else? Someone else has something. Hmm. Ah, Talamund. Uh, what do we give him? Hmm, I don't actually know. Maybe Athletics, he is on foot. Yeah, we'll give him Athletics, because his learning rate was quite low for that. Someone else has something as well. Not Liana, not Mila, not Raffard. What am I missing? Someone must have a perk, or a focus point, or an attribute point. Ah, Elder. Bush Doctor, increase village hearth growth rate by 20% and get 20% healing bonus in villages. Or increase settlement prosperity and get 20% healing bonus in towns. I guess we'll just get pristine streets. We'll spend more time waiting in towns than villages, so... Makes more sense. Cool. Okay. Let's attack these looters.
And I'll just uh, send our troops against these ones. One casualty. That's fine. Should get uh, a little bit of experience, not a huge amount actually. Alright. Okay. Alright, well we might leave it there I think. Next episode I think we can uh, hopefully get our... Where is it? Our party members will fill out their parties. And we can start uh, maybe even sieging, taking down castles and towns completely on our own. Um, so that'll be cool. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll catch you then. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.